Can my tripod stop shaking? Thank you. You read the title. Today's the day. This is a surprise for everybody. Also, I haven't filmed like a sit down portion of a video that isn't sponsored in so long. So if I seem winded because all my pressure is on my bottom half and my lungs, it's because I am. Today we are going to be apartment hunting. This is a little blast from the past. I'm actually filming this on January 19th, 2022. So hey, from past Aaliyah. Can you tell by the locks? I don't know, it's been a while. Today we're going apartment hunting. I'm going to be giving my personal tips, tricks, requirements, my thoughts on my apartments. Everything is just going to be in this video. You're gonna be seeing which apartment I'm getting, me signing my lease, everything like that. I'm just gonna quickly explain on why I'm deciding to move at the time that I'm deciding to move. I think it's just about that time. I've been back in Charlotte for over a year now. I'm pretty sure I lived in the room that you're looking at right now for about 14 months, maybe 15. And I feel like it's just that time when I moved back to Charlotte I originally wanted to spoiler alert buy a house but the market went to absolute as soon as I started looking it's just time for me to look at an apartment because I'm just not ready to spend four hundred thousand dollars on a house on the suburbs of Charlotte if I'm gonna be spending that much I want to live downtown but I'm still not ready to spend that amount of money I've had money saved up but I just decided for my sake and everything like that my sanity is just time to move I didn't hate living here I absolutely did not it was actually very wonderful very cheap I didn't pay much to live with my sister I did pay rent here it's just that time and I wanted to the simple as that I'm gonna go ahead and get into the requirements of me moving because that was a whole thing in itself. I'm first gonna talk about the timeline in which I wanted to move and then my actual requirements in I wanted in an apartment. So let's talk about the timeline. So I originally started looking at the end of December, early January and moving dates potentially. I originally wanted to move in February, but because of the way landlords, apartment complex, da 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 da, -da a lot of the places that I wanted to move into or look at what you saw today, they didn't really have too much flexibility in February. And when they did have availability in February, it didn't either match my sizing, physical preferences, or my price preferences, which is something that is very important, which we're about to talk about now. So I ended up choosing March and I'm very happy I did because I a lot of extra time and the day that I actually signed my lease to move in is actually during my spring break so it worked out for everybody you should just always have a list of non-negotiables of features and things that are included in the complex and your apartment unit before you even head over to apartments.com to start searching this definitely helps optimize your search and with this you should pick about seven to ten complexes that you're interested in and then go over your features again and narrow that list down even more before you start physically looking so I'm about to get into my actual requirements for my apartment these are things that were absolutely non-negotiable Negotiables. I have some things that I would prefer that I'm gonna talk about later or after the non-negotiables, but these are things that I absolutely had to have for the most part. My base rent requirements were between $1,500 and $1,600. This doesn't include anything such as like valet trash or pet fees or anything like that just because Charlotte's getting very expensive. If I need some leeway, I know no matter what, I can make that a month. So that is like my little cushion and whatnot. And I can still make all my utilities no matter what. So that's something that was very important to me. And I still have a lot of wiggle room with that. So that is definitely one of my price requirements my next requirement is in-unit washer and dryer I am NOT like the New York girlies I have to have in-unit washer and dryer I'm not trying to lug 10 pounds of laundry if you're a longtime watcher of my channel you know when I do laundry I do it in loads of like five and they're all huge and I usually wash clothes every two weeks and I'm not trying to take a trip to the laundromat or downstairs I'd rather do it in the comfort of my home my next requirement that I absolutely was like non breakable like nobody could convince me otherwise was good security in the building I don't want anybody to be able to reach me that I don't want to. Security is something that's very, very, very important to me. So I need a good lockdown building with a lot of secure security that I feel safe with, also in an area that I feel safe in as well. My next requirement, key fob entry. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, Elliot, this is literally so stupid. Why do I need a key fob entry? And with key fob entry, for some reason, I just feel a lot better. I know key fobs and keys have their downside, but I just prefer a key fob because it looks newer and I personally like the technology and the safety aspect of it way more. And I don't know. I just like it as a good security aspect. One thing that I forgot to mention in this portion is that if I'm going to be paying all this money in rent, which is what you're going to be hearing, you got me 50 shades of folded if you think I'm going to have regular key. With the way these apartments are charging, I would expect a key fob. I mean, you'll hear what I'm talking about, but that's another reason just because if rent was any cheaper than what I was looking at, I'm not having a key. I want a fob, which is one of the biggest reasons. I don't know how I forgot, but yeah, I just want to say that. Here. My next non-negotiable, it allows dogs. I obviously have a dog, my sweet baby angel, Cashew. I always have to take him into consideration. Cashew is considered an ESA animal, so pet rent and stuff like that, I really don't have to worry about because I have a letter from my lovely psychiatrist saying, 
She needs him. You can't charge him rent. Even if so, I would rather go to a place that allows dogs instead of having a place that is restricted from dogs because I, one, don't want to be the odd man out, and two, I don't want to cause those people a bunch of trouble. So allowing dogs is a big, big, big thing for me. And also, Cash needs to get acquainted with other dogs. So maybe he can be friends with the dogs on his floor. I don't know. Next non-negotiable is good natural lighting. Now, this is pretty dicey depending on what part of an apartment building you're in, but I really want to have good natural lighting because I do content creation. So lighting is a big part of my job. As you can see my lighting in my room right now is actually pretty good i have no lights on whatsoever i just have my blinds peeked open a little bit so good natural lighting is a must especially not even just for content creation but also my mental health because without sun i am not good my next requirement is great wi-fi providers so anything that is fiber at&t google whatever i need the top of the top best wi-fi because i've had my experience with bad internet and quite frankly i am fed up so i want to have the best of the best wi-fi once again for my job and also i do a lot of online school i really just don't want to fumble with bad Wi-Fi, especially if I don't have to. Next, it has to have a kitchen island or a bar extension to the kitchen counter. This is such a random, I feel, kind of requirement for an apartment, but let me explain. So I was talking to my mom, and this was like a, six months ago. So this was back in maybe July, August by the time um, that I'm filming this. By this point, it's forever ago. But I was talking to my mom, and she was telling me how much dining sets cost. And yeah, you can find some good ones on sale, but for the type that I would get, I'm not going to be able to get a cheap one and if I'm gonna make that investment I'd rather make that investment when I buy a house so bar stools are my way to go you can get two bar stools for like a hundred dollars and have them for years if they're good quality and I'm just not ready to buy a dining set and with the type of apartment that I'm looking for I don't think I could fit a dining set in there anyway my next apartment requirement has a modern finish so I really want my stainless steel appliances with my cabinets I don't have a set color for my cabinets but I would prefer white gray or that light woodish color as long as it looks modern and put together I don't really care too much but if I could pick a color it would be those three but if it doesn't have it you know my requirement is a modern finish the colors are flexible but that modern finish is non-negotiable non-negotiable and then I also need to have a at least one bedroom one bathroom I've seen studios and whatnot some are very spacious da, da, da. but with Charlotte it can get a little dicey so I told myself at least a one bedroom one bath non-negotiables also a non-negotiable was an elevator because y'all not about to have me walking up and down some stairs so things that like I want but like don't necessarily have to have is a pool and a gym all apartment complexes have that nowadays so it wasn't too crazy really 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 would like a den which is like an extra bedroom if the rent is under the preferred amount it's really not that crazy the things i have listed are kind of what you find in apartments literally everywhere now so without further ado i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys my little mini apartment hunting vlog how this is set up is you're basically gonna look at all the apartments straight through you're gonna come with me on the tours you're gonna see some of the units and after that i'm gonna come back and tell you guys my pros and cons of each the prices and whatnot and then we're just gonna talk from there Hello everybody. I can't believe that this day has finally come. I will say it definitely is long overdue, but we're finally starting the process today on January 7th, 2022. I'm actually on the way to an apartment tour right now. I have my first self-guided tour today at noon and it's 11:29, and it takes me about 30 minutes to get to the complex that I'm touring today. So um, we're just gonna head there. Let's start apartment hunting, I guess. You already know what I'm gonna say and it is you need to physically go see apartments in person. You can always see pictures and videos. They can seem dingy, dirty, or perfect and polished, but you will never know how it truly feels to be there along with the surrounding area until you go. So make sure you make time for those tours and yeah, virtual tours are convenient, but you need to go look at it physically. I think she said 705 square feet. And I'm assuming this is a pantry. Yeah, this is a pantry. All stainless steel appliances. A lot of storage in here. City light. <laughs> I feel like for a one bedroom, there's a lot of cabinet space. I love deep sinks this is gorgeous to me and then they have a dishwasher right next to the sink which is i love 
and then stainless steel appliances yeah yeah then they have an island um which is big enough i don't know if it's big enough for bar stools but i'll make it big enough for bar stools um and then next to the front door we have the bathroom which i think this is a pretty big bathroom like it's bigger than my bathroom now for sure there's a tub that cool whatnot cool then here's like a little linen closet Ooh, it's cute size the one thing I will say, this is the bedroom. It's actually pretty small. I have a queen size bed and that's probably gonna take up like half of it, maybe a little less than half. This is the closet. So technically it's walk-in, but it's a little small. Okay, a little to nothing. Is this washer and dryer? It is washer and dryer and more linen closet. Okay. I love the unit. I just don't know if I can particularly see myself living here. Something about it just doesn't seem to like Aaliyah, if that makes sense. We do have a package locker, by the way. Uh -huh. So we it's like parcel pending if you're familiar with package yes. lockers. Uh -huh. So when those fill up, we bring them over here. <laughs> but they're still accounted for. So our amenities are 24-7. And then this is our clubhouse. We do a lot of resident events in here. I'm going to show you an apartment that has a pool view. <laughs> okay. So you can get the aerial view. Just because it's a little chilly. I feel you. It's been cold all day. It's been Everyone driving me nuts. Okay, everyone I've been touring is from like Chicago, so they're like, this is in Charlotte. <laughs> this is like, freezing okay. for us, I'm sorry. You're from Charlotte? Born and raised, Okay, yeah. me too. Okay, yeah, so I get it. Literally freezing. I checked the temperature this morning and I almost panicked because <laughs> since when does it get this cold anymore? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to show you our model. We have the smart locks, mm -hmm. so you'll have your own fob. So far from the tour, I already absolutely fell in love with the complex and looking at this unit did not help that love whatsoever. It's just so homey and cozy and something I could genuinely see myself and my dog living in. Not only is the apartment complex very secure, but the units are also secure as well and they also had some really important non-negotiables for me like in-unit washer and dryer and really big closets and kitchen space, which is something I need. I don't have a lot of things, but I'd prefer to have more space than not enough. And then if you have guests come over, they can park in the garage as well. Mm -hmm. This one was just moved out of, uh -huh. so if there's like anything going on in here, I promise. <laughs> Totally like, it will be a totally new apartment by the time. <laughs> It'll be like a totally new apartment. <laughs> the tour guide was nice enough to take me over to a studio just so I could see the comparison and seeing if this is something I'd be interested in. But honestly, it was really beautiful, but entirely too small for me. I think it's a little small. I didn't get a chance to look at the one in the one bedroom, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it was a walk-in. We can go back if you want to. Because... Mm -hmm also in your price range, yeah. it has a huge walk-in closet. Right. Yeah, this one's really nice. Mm -hmm. The convenience of the location. Do you want to see the closet again? Yes. Okay. When I was looking, I definitely wanted a place that had like indoor hallway. Yes, this, this, this weather, was. the weather here is very humbling. Oh, it's <laughs> very humbling. Since I didn't get to have a good look at the first closet in the one bedroom, one bath, we decided to head back over there just so I can get a little bit of a comparison in closet and storage difference. And by far, without a doubt, the studio was just entirely too small and the one bed one bath storage is what i really need have you been looking at places all day pretty much yeah mm -hmm. this is my third fourth one okay. so, so our mail rooms right here we've got our packages going right now um, we are going to be upgrading our package rooms mm -hmm. in the next couple months um, we're going to be getting parcel pending mm -hmm. which is the lockers and it'll just be a little bit more organized for everybody and a lot more secure too mm -hmm. because just your packages will go into a specific yeah. locker and we do have new smart home systems too mm -hmm. so our new locks look like that mm -hmm. and you still have a key you also have a code you can use to get in mm -hmm. and you can control it off of your phone too before we got it we had tons of people who would like lock their keys in their apartment yeah. or you know lose their keys and even if you like like lost your keys, you'd still be able to get yeah, into your Yeah, you can because who loses their phone? I know. Especially when they're out. Like, yeah, very really like, weird. You always got it, like, taped to you. Exactly. Um, it's super helpful, though, if you're ever out of town, too, and you have, like, family, you know, watering your plants mm -hmm. or watching your dog. Yeah, definitely. 
Like many other places, we looked at the amenities first, and I don't really have an opinion on amenities, but this one was pretty cool. I really like the gym kind of overlook of the pool, and I really like those apartment styles where the pool is in the middle, so it's very exclusive, so really pretty overall. One of my friends lived in an apartment with like kind of the centers kind of cut out, mm -hmm. and it looks so cool at night because the lights in the pool like project the waves on the wall, that's, and it looks so pretty. That's kind pretty. of how ours do. Mm -hmm. It's super nice. Um, and I love that our pool's in the middle of our building, mm -hmm. so you have you need resident access to get into it, so it never gets like crazy busy. Yeah. There are some pools in Charlotte that, that are, just are like open. Yeah. <laughs> and it yeah. becomes like a spring break. Style, exactly. Right? <laughs> then we headed over to I think this is the residence lounge, and she mentioned that a lot of people like to bring their stuff down and work from home here and as a resident you can also like rent this kind of room out oh yeah we have a dog park in the back too Aww. so we just actually put that in mm -hmm. which i don't know why they didn't have one before mm -hmm. so this elevator. they never had one but like probably 80 percent of the residents here I was have dogs say, a lot of people in this area have they pets. yes they do yeah. I was like, so we were like we're gonna put one in <laughs> <laughs> might as well yeah and it's huge too mm -hmm. it's, it's literally it's hard it's the worst and when you find one you gotta pay for parking yes <laughs> yeah I try to avoid going into uptown as much as I can. Yeah. Not that there's much to do uptown anymore, but... Yeah, especially with COVID. Mm -hmm. COVID. Yeah, I, well, I did have to drive into uptown the other day, and it was like, no one was there. <laughs> Never. We were past, like, Romare, Beard, and Park, and there's usually always people out yeah. there. Yeah, there was nobody. <laughs> oh my God. But I guess people are kind of, you know, moving into these neighborhoods now. A lot of natural light in here. In this one, yes. Yeah. <laughs> right at this, like, time of day, there's so much light. Um, so yeah, so the kitchen mm -hmm. is basically going to look the exact same, uh -huh. with the exception of like your sink being in the It would be over on the side, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yep. And your cabinets would be much taller too. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming that would be the pantry instead of the standing to, or? Yes, so you would have the, it would be cabinet pantry space mm -hmm. right next to your fridge. Right, mm -hmm. okay. I love the kitchen. I know, I'm obsessed with it. And same with our floors too, since they're not yeah. true hardwood and they're vinyl. Easy so to clean. clean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reference for the bedroom, um, it won't be as, as big as this. It'll mm -hmm. probably be from like where the doorway starts over. And then this closet mm -hmm. doesn't even compare. <laughs> Even the walking space in uh -huh. the closet would be like double this. So this bathroom is going to be like the closest to what your bathroom would look like. Okay. So the private bath. So it'll pretty much look like this. You'll have oh, all this love storage. This on both sides and then you'll still have that linen yeah. cabinet. I really like this bathroom setup. Mm -hmm. And the counter space is huge. Huge. So this one is only like 300 more square feet uh -huh. and this is a two bed. Okay. And since that's a one bed, it kind of like puts in reference how yeah. big it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just taking away a bedroom. The other big difference mm -hmm. is your washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. You'll have the stackables. And then this bathroom is just a shared bathroom. It's mm -hmm. huge, but nothing, yeah. nothing else in the property compares to this bathroom. <laughs> the Gee. Bathroom, yeah, this bathroom is massive. Yeah. The storage A lot great. of storage. I should have put two sinks in here though. That would look cool. Yeah. That, that would look really better. cool. Especially for, you know, couples. Yeah. Or just, you know, girls who are getting ready to <laughs> Time's <together>. over. <laughs> I can't see myself that well, but if everybody's going to ask, Bonnet from Scotch Bonnets by Danny's, holla at her. Good morning. <laughs> I am so tired. My eyes are still very red. Um, I have red eyes. I have eye crusties. I've been sleeping so hard, but we're here the next day and I am fully covered under my blankets because it's that cold to the point where I don't want to get up. Um, if I sound congested, it's because my boyfriend got me some flowers and it turns out we forgot that I am allergic to flowers. So he took the flowers out and put them somewhere else and I'm still recovering. We will be taking some Claritin in a little bit. It's currently, what time is it? It's 9.01 on Saturday and I am touring, I think, one apartment today. I'm very excited. It's another one down town i believe i think if i'm not mistaken what if i want to be in the city what if i want to be in the burbs we go look at all the options just like yesterday i still have a favorite and it's that second one that i went to it was beautiful it seemed so homey the staff was really nice and they actually seem like they have their shit together and they have good reviews on google which is very 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 important now because i just went downstairs so i could let cashew out so he can do his morning business and i was like let me check to see what the thermostat is on oh it's bright so let me check to see what the thermostat is on girl what the hell i just turned the heat on but what the hell it feel like outside in here for what 
but actually about to leave the house for the appointment I decided today I'm also going to get Starbucks because I have gift cards from Christmas I need to use so I'm best believe I'm going to be using them before we leave I actually didn't give you guys an OOTD yesterday so I'm gonna give you what I'm wearing today pretty basic outfit I have this like sand tan crew neck on then I have like matching sweats and then I have on these white scrunchy socks with my Yeezy slides simple outfit Although it's very simple, I feel like it adds a little something. I actually have to go throw on my evil eye, whatchamacallit, bracelet. And then probably some gold jewelry. And also, I'm going to show you guys when I get in the bathroom. I also have, like, stuff under it because it's, like, 30 degrees out. So, y'all not catching me. I don't know what necklace I'm going to wear. I might wear this gold one with, like, a little lock on it. It looks a little too yellow, though. So, I don't know. Okay. And we are good to go. Bye, honey. I'll see you later. Um, so I did take a look at it. Looks like you guys were talking to Emily. Um, that you were looking for a warm red to move in like mid February. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. With that being said. Is there anything um, that we're kind of hoping to find in that one bedroom, whether it's like floor level, price range? Preferably under about 1500, 1550, and then um, if possible, minimal carpet. Okay. Whatever cupboard is in your kitchen is what's going to be in your your bathroom as okay. well, just so you have yeah. some consistency. I noticed when I got into the door, mm -hmm. we are keyless, so it's yes. the key fobs. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about that is you can actually use your phone as mm -hmm. a second key. Mm -hmm. So let's say that you're coming in from, you know, you have a ton of groceries, and your phone is in your pocket. Right. When you get close to the exterior doors, it will it unlock. unlock. Also, kind of like cars, because my car, when the key fob gets close to it, unlocks yeah, by itself. Yeah, the only one that doesn't is your front door, because we mm -hmm. have them set super sense like right. not sensitive yeah so that you have to actually yeah extra security need to lock mm -hmm. your door but the exterior doors will exactly like a car so Which, that you don't yeah. have to that's really nice you don't have to dig in just the first impressions i really did like this apartment there was a lot of storage in here as well as an extra storage closet which i could utilize for probably christmas stuff or just any major holiday stuff i don't want in the house and this was actually an interior facing unit um which faced the pool and everything but the only downside to this one is that there is no dog park anywhere to be seen we don't allow any pets out there um just to you know keep everything mm -hmm. everything good good and clean right have your full-size washroom dryer yay um so they no yes <laughs> thank goodness that is yeah. Space wise, I believe that this was one of the biggest units besides the one that I toured after this and I would be getting a lot for my money but because of the area and just what it's around, I wasn't really comfortable living here because I'm not very comfortable with the area or know it very well. So although the unit is very pretty, maybe like down the line I could potentially live in this area but I just couldn't see myself living here now because of the area even though the price for this unit was really 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 good. I just couldn't didn't see it happening really we left the of uh, uh, first place that I was looking at for the day and then after that the lady at the leasing office that I really liked from yesterday said that um, she sent me pictures of what my exact unit and floor model would look like and she gave me like a little mini walkthrough of one that was empty so I could see my exact floor plan and what it would look like but we're at the last one um, it's in a totally different area. I guess we're gonna go on and tour this one. This is the only one with kind of the specific physical attributes that I was looking at that I really liked from when I first started looking. So we have to see. Um, it seems really nice though. So my camera's dying, so I'm gonna film on my phone for the rest of the time. This should be fun. So like I just mentioned, this is the apartment with the most preferred physical attributes in an apartment. As you can see, as soon as we walk in, there is my really, really, really desired white cabinets and just really white modern cabinets with the stainless steel. This was my ideal apartment, but I guess the more wood toned is getting a bit more popular. But um, this apartment was really nice. The balcony was actually huge and the bedroom bathroom combo was a very good size for me because it would just be me 
living here. I actually feel like it's more size or bigger than I would actually need. And it felt very homey. Off a of rib, it had some unique features which I would prefer but don't have to have. So for example, the cabinet linen closet, sliding shower door is also nice. A bit more far out of Charlotte, so it would be a bit farther from the downtown life for me, but yeah. Now that you went and towards your five to seven vital apartment options, when it comes to deciding the good place for you, create a pros and cons list for each apartment, but don't stop there. Follow up with rating how much you like something, pros get points added, versus how much you hate something, these get points deducted, so you can score and see how each place would affect you and how they would just rank on your personal list for your overall choice. How'd you enjoy our little two-day journey? I enjoyed myself. Did you enjoy yourself? Because I, I, I definitely enjoyed myself let's just go ahead and start talking about these apartments so the first apartment was a one bedroom one bath 705 square foot apartment and the rent was 1650 for a 14 month lease so already it's over budget the only reason I put this right here is because if you hit a 12 month lease with this place it was like $1,800 sort of wasn't happening I'm just gonna go ahead and say some cons of this place it was too expensive for what I was getting because I don't know if you could tell but in the actual video it was an open floor plan but there was a carpet dividing living room in the kitchen so it was kind of hard to like make it look bigger than it was. Dark tone cabinets, I don't really mind, but the fact that these were black, I really just wasn't feeling it. I don't think it was for me and I just couldn't see myself living with black cabinets. Some pros though was okay security. The security wasn't bad. It did have a middle kitchen island, which I really liked with a lot of storage in it. And then it was a really, really good location. One of my favorite places in Charlotte, but I wasn't really feeling it for the cons. So overall, I'll rate this a five out of 10. Okay, so our next apartment is another one bedroom, one bathroom. And this one was actually 700 107 square feet but the rent was 1580 for a 12 month lease the one bedroom one bath was kind of my priority because as you know we saw a studio in the same complex and it was 551 square feet but it was 1560 for a 13 month lease and if you went to a 12 month it would have got over budget so that was automatically a no and you could definitely tell the price difference you're paying like 20 25 extra dollars for a bunch more square feet and i get the actual lease that i wanted overall i'm gonna start with kind of the cons i feel like the only con for this place was that the light finishes were not on the cabinets like i wanted to but the way that they kind of had the layout set up it made up for it so i really like the brown actually which i'm actually really surprised about <laughs> the building has great security prime location there's no kitchen island in there but there is kind of like a addition to the kitchen counter lighting was great in there with all the lights on all the lights off so that was another pro, uh, pro and then had really 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 high ceilings overall this is my favorite place and i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten the only thing that would make it perfect is if it had those light cabinets but even if so i still rate this place very highly Next one that I saw uh, was another one bedroom, one bathroom, was a 772 square foot unit and the rent was 1510 for a 12 month lease. So just some cons to start out with this place. It didn't feel very homey, like you know when you go to certain apartment complexes, you can walk in like the office building or the hallways and it feels very homey. I didn't get that vibe from there. I didn't get it from this place or the first place with the dark like black cabinets. And I also didn't get to see a one bedroom, one bathroom layout, which kind of like threw me off. And yeah, we were like comparing what it would look like compared to mine, but I would have preferred if I could see it, at least a model in person. Maybe that's just me being picky, I don't know. And then the lighting wasn't that great. Even the videos that y'all saw, the lighting was spectacular, but that unit was on the top floor and I'm not sure if I would get a top floor unit just because I'm not sure of the floor plan layout of like the units on the top floor. And the top floor is usually more expensive for whatever reason, but you don't really get a good view from the top floor of that complex anyway. So I feel like there would have been no point, but I will say the pros of this place was a prime location and it was, is on the bigger side in size I mean 772 square feet for 1510 versus like 700 ish for about the same price if not more so I'm gonna rate this place a 7 out of 10 hominess not at all safety was like okay the management kind of felt like messy but the fourth place we looked at so this place actually had two sizes available for the one bedroom one bath they had a 788 square feet unit for a whopping 1501 a month for a 12 month lease and they had a 871 square foot apartment for 1635 for a 12 month lease so obviously I'm gonna go for the smaller one because 788 is actually not bad 
bad for one person and we saw the 788 in the video so that's exactly the sizing of what it looked like and the 788 was the actual one that had the actual storage on the outside and the 800 one they did not have the storage outside which I preferred honestly pros of this place definitely budget friendly especially for 1501 what the hell? For 788 square feet? I think yes. It had my light finish on the cabinets. Although it wasn't like a like too crazy design, I feel like the kitchen and cabinets also look very, very, very well done and modern. And there was a lot of good lighting in there as well, even though there wasn't many windows. Could be better, but I would say the lighting for the most part is okay. The cons though, the cons made me rule out this place like easily it's not the best area the place that it's actually located at i just personally never felt the safest over there i actually didn't know where this complex was until we went over there i just saw the price and was like oh my god we have to go i wouldn't feel the safest over there it's it's not just me it's like a universal thing everybody knows that area for what it is that's one of the biggest things and also as you heard in the video there was no designated dog area the lady was suggesting that i could go to like a park that was like across the street and down it a little bit i can't even walk cashew like on the interior dig out part of the complex which I feel like is so stupid but I mean I understand why but at the end of the day I have an animal and sometimes I don't want to cross the street just so he can poop it was just a really big inconvenience in my opinion I rate this place a six out of ten though and then the last place the last place the last place we went to they had a one bedroom one bath that was 797 square feet with a whopping rent of $14.35 for a 12 month lease. And then it gets better. They also had a one bedroom, one bath with a den for a whopping $15.50 for a 12 month lease. So that's basically another bedroom without a wall. So it could be like an office space. And that was 881 square feet. Um, I'm just gonna go, ho go over the pros for this place first because physically it was my favorite it had everything like checked off for the physical attributes they had my white and light finishes on the cabinets in the kitchen they had the modern kitchen modern cabinets modern bathroom they had a linen closet in the bathroom fit perfectly chef's kiss it was very 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 budget friendly this was the i think cheapest place on average because it was a different location for where i was looking it had a middle island kitchen which doubled as a dining table so it only have to get bar stools but it also doubled as a island as well for more storage and then it had a very nice size balcony you could you literally saw the bench sitting out there that could fit about two maybe three people if they're really small now we're gonna get into the cons of this place which definitely helped me make my overall decision first and foremost bad natural lighting unit was so big and there wasn't enough windows to fully illuminate or light up the space that i would prefer so that kind of turned me off the security wasn't that great i really can't say much about that there's no elevators and considering there's multiple floors no <laughs> no i am not an olympian i will not be treading up all those stairs for all that rent like come on now it was a flat parking lot if i didn't do youtube i wouldn't care about having a flat parking lot but the reason i do is because people know what type of car i drive and people know i live in charlotte so it's very important for me to keep my car in a space where i feel like it's safe and nobody can like find me or see me while i'm peacefully at home you know what i'm saying flat parking lot is a no-no they didn't have any smart home features so like on the doors itself they didn't have key fobs they had regular regular keys they had a key fob to get into like the building but the actual key for the unit which a little dicey i looked past the flat parking lot for this i looked past the smart home features were like which was like a non-negotiable for me I look past the bad natural lighting. The place had terrible recent reviews. I rated this place at 8 out of 10 simply because it was near perfect. People write bad reviews on stuff all the time, but if I see for the past like 6 to 8 to 10 months your reviews are bad because of management, people are saying it's dirty and there's a lot of stuff going on over there, I'm not even going to try to deal with it. And you're probably going to ask, well, how many times are you going to deal with management? Da -da -da. When you live in an apartment, you deal with management for the smallest things. You deal with them for packages. And they also, I don't think they have parcel pending as well. So my packages, I don't know where they'd be going, but you have to deal with them for packages, maintenance, if you lose your key, if you have any inconvenience there or just you want to go to the amenities and you have questions, you're going to be talking to the management and I definitely didn't want to put myself through that just because I know firsthand how shitty 
it is to have bad maintenance because of my first apartment in Greensboro my AC went out in the dead middle of July in North Carolina it was getting to like a hundred degrees and I had no AC for like three days the only time that the maintenance guy came was when after my stepdad called him about five times and my dad called him about five times he came he said he fixed it I told my dad I don't feel any AC coming off the system so he called him back and told him go back and fix it and he went and this was over the course of like three days I just don't have the emotional and mental capacity to be dealing with bad maintenance and management overall if you look past the maintenance and management this was my second favorite place the reason that it was second was because it wasn't the initial location I wanted and second the bad reviews based on my ratings and descriptions of pros and cons I'm pretty sure you guys can tell which apartment that I went ahead and picked if you haven't already let me know which one you would pick down below um, I would love to hear the ones that you would personally pick based on my personal pros and cons and looks and stuff like that price aside and whatnot what was your favorite I'd love to know but I ended up going with apartment number two which was the light wood the second one with really great security great price that place was absolutely beautiful it felt like home the second I walked in there despite me scratching the fuck out of my room insert the clip right here so something I didn't show y'all when I got here I went to go turn him Scratch the fuck out of my tire. I'm surprised this bitch didn't pop. Pretty girls hit curb. Just felt like home. I feel like it was the best place for me personally, and I could definitely see myself living there in the long run, and which I will be for the next year. Cue me signing my lease. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't been apartment hunting in a couple days, but I am here in the middle of class about to sign my lease because I applied and got accepted to my apartment. I literally just got my welcome letter, but I haven't signed my lease yet because I wanted to take my time with reading it and making sure everything was there and okay. And I got accepted and now I have my lease and I am about to sign. Ah! This is so crazy. It's January 10th. I've been known I got accepted. I've known for like two days. I'm here to say I'm about to sign my lease. I signed my lease. I am officially full. Oh my god. By the time y'all are seeing this, Lord have mercy. You're a few months behind, but like, oh my god, it's happening. We're full. Our apartment hunting journey has come to an end folks this is probably one of the last times you're going to be seeing this room outside of moving vlogs and stuff like that so with that being said thank you so much everybody for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like to see more from me make sure you hit that bell notification if you want to see me weekly and forget that i post every sunday if you like to keep up with the latest because youtube's a little far behind you can follow me on my instagrams leah.smell with two e's or leah after hours on my spam where i post all the time yeah that's it for today's apartment hunting video i can't wait to move in it's january and i'm making this two months left uh, by the time you guys are watching this this time already is here already passed depending on what day i decide to post this but yeah thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity i wouldn't be able to do this without you and i can't wait to see where this next chapter takes me with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching again and i can't wait to see you guys in the next one bye everybody mm -hmm.